Guys, do not go with the normal RV roof mount AC unit. I'm telling you, you're gonna regret it. Here's the better solution. My name is Matt Stone, and I've built two school buses and helped other people with their own off-grid school systems. And AC is always a huge discussion. But let's start off with why you do not want a RV roof mount AC unit. You know, the ones that all RVs have, you can buy them, and they work really good. They cool really nicely but there are a few major cons about them. First off, they are incredibly loud. We had one in our first bus, and yeah, it cooled the space down really nicely, but you were yelling because it was so loud. Now, there are more quiet ones, but those are typically, they don't have the same BTU factor, which is how well it cools. And second off, they are a huge energy draw. I mean, we had a pretty decent solar system in our last bus and we could not run it at all unless we were plugged in. And uh, it was really taxing on the system. So they're just not efficient at all. So guys, let's go ahead and start off with why you'd want a mini split. We have two of them, which I'm going to explain why you should have two of them as well if you have the money for it. Later on, I'm going to discuss how to mount these, where our exterior units are, and in this new bus, we went with mini splits, which are a little bit harder to install because the roof mount AC, you just literally cut a hole in your roof, you drop the AC unit down, you wire it up, and it's ready to go. But with mini splits, you have an interior unit and you have an exterior unit, which is your compressor. Now, that's the only con though about the mini splits that they're a little bit harder to install. Otherwise, everything about them is a million times better. So first off, they have heat pumps installed already in the mini splits, so they do AC and heat. Second off, they are super quiet. This AC unit is on right now. The camera is right in front of me and I doubt you can even hear it. And that also goes for the exterior unit. Incredibly quiet. They don't make any noise at all. This is the biggest reason for sure to get a mini split is the efficiency. When this thing is running full blast, like as hard as it can, cranking out the coolest air that it can, the max wattage that it uses is 1400 watts, which is still very manageable to do on an off-grid system. And it's a 12,000 BTU, so it has a lot of cooling capacity. And our solar system is powerful enough to actually run both of our AC units, the one in the front and the back, which is now the greatest topic about your air conditioning unit. So if you go with a roof mount AC unit, which once again, I don't suggest, you can put it in the middle of your rig and it will actually shoot out both ways. It's nice, it'll cool the front and the back, but once again, you gotta be plugged in to use it unless you just have a crazy system. The reason to have too many splits, other than just one, is because you can zone it off. So if we're just trying to cool the front area, we can just turn on this front unit. If we're trying to cool the back bedroom, we can just turn on the back bedroom unit and close the door, so then it's an even smaller space. And that 12,000 BTU unit back there cools that bedroom down super quickly, especially when we shut the door, making that area very small and tight. It just takes all that air and cools it really quickly. We have a 40 foot bus, but I know people who have had 30 foot buses who put a mini split in the back thinking, yeah, if we need the AC, we want our bedroom to be cool. And then whatever's left over, it, it should still cool the front. I mean, there's only 300 square feet or less. So according to the square footage, it should cool the whole area. But what people don't really realize and what we've heard from a lot of our friends is that the walls and everything that you have in your school bus stop the airflow from reaching the front. It might make it a little cooler, but the front of buses are the hottest area. You got all these windows, all the bus windshield, everything like that, it gets super hot up here. So we got two units, one to cool the front and to cool the back bedroom, and it's more efficient that way. Because say it's a hot day and you're trying to cool the front of your bus, well your back unit is going to be hammering the whole time trying to cool this whole place down. If you have a unit in the front, it's going to be working super hard to cool this and your back area, your efficiency is actually gonna be lower because the AC unit is trying to crank as hard as it can. So now, the question that you guys might be asking, well, where do you find areas to mount two compressor units? Now, first off with mini splits, they do make multi-head units, meaning you can have two or more interior units and only have one exterior unit. The issue with that, and the issue that most people are gonna have 
is that when you're off grid, you typically don't have 220, talking about electrical here. And for those multi-head units, you need 220 electrical. So we don't have 220, we have a 30 amp. Our, our voltage on all of our breakers is 110. So we need it two individual units. And the exterior unit for the back is mounted inside of our motor bay. There was enough room for it to go in there. This bus had AC when we first got it, but we ripped out the old compressor and all of that AC and it just left a huge gap in the motor bay. So it just slid right in. Now with this front unit, I had to do a little bit of welding and fabricate a box and lift that unit up underneath the driver's seat outside. And those two places were really easy to get everything ran to. The exterior unit cannot be too far from the interior head. It's one thing to keep in mind. Also on a side note, I am considering opening up a consulting business for people who are trying to do schoolies. Let me know in the comments below if that's something that you'd be interested in. If you think that kind of service would be helpful to have someone walk you through your exact needs and if it's something you would pay for. Like, subscribe, do all that kind of stuff. Peace.